Hey, ¿qué pasa? I'm Eduardo, aka Edmotions, and today I'm gonna show you how to do this wine swirl inside a glass in After Effects. For this tutorial, I've created a simple set. We have a glass, this reflection, and a blue background. Uh, for the wine, I'll use a rectangle shape. Let me change the color. And don't mind the width, as long as it is at least as wide as the wine glass, you'll be fine. And as for the head, make sure you keep it within the glass too. I'm gonna call this layer wine and precompose it. And let's go inside this precomp. Select this icon here that's called region of interest and make a selection more or less adjusted to the size of our wine. Leave some space at the top so the waves can go up and down and select Composition, Crop to Region of Interest. And now the composition has the size of our selection. Add a wave warp effect to the wine layer. About the numbers, I've already done this before so I know that the numbers that work for me or for my shape and composition are 20 for the height and 180 for the width. And these numbers might not work for you if you're using much bigger or smaller compositions. Alright, let's give the wave speed a value of 2 points. Now we have this that kind of looks like a river flowing. And we're going to go back to our main comp and change the order of the layers so the wine sits at the bottom of the composition. And also change the blending mode of the reflection to overlay which will give the reflection a nicer and more saturated look. Now I'm going to mask the wine so it fits within the glass limits. I'm starting with a circle mask because the bottom of my glass is perfectly round. And I'm gonna add a couple of vertices to the mask. Just grab the pen tool Select the mask and click wherever you want your new vertex to be. Now I'm gonna follow the shape of the glass. And it looks like the glass contains the wine now. If we hit play, we can see how the liquid is waving, but we don't have the feeling that it's spinning. That's because we only see it going in one direction. What we can do is go inside the wine composition, duplicate the shape and change the color of the shape in layer 2. Since the surface is going to have a thinner layer of liquid, more light will be able to pass through, so give it a lighter color. And I'm going to invert the direction of the web just by adding 180 degrees to the current angle. Now we can see the wine is coming back in the second layer. If we come back to the main composition, we'll see how it kind of works, but not quite. We need to work on these steps that appear on the edges, because a uh, liquid must be continuous. So we're gonna toggle this lock to be able to see this main composition while working inside the wine pair composition. Double click on the wine comp and now drag it to create a new window. We have both on the screen now. Just change the face of one of the layers. Change it until you match the ends of both layers. Something around 80 works for me, but depending on the size of your shapes, it might not work for you. Alright, this is much better, but it's still not perfect. We keep having this step that makes the animation less realistic. Let's increase the bottom layer's wave width just a little bit more. and move the face another tiny bit. Alright, so we have it. 
I'm gonna close this and go back to the main composition toggle the lock off and that's it we have a wine spinning inside the glass but why is this wine spinning if the glass is completely static I'm going to show you a really simple and really cool feature of Duik first grab the reflection on the wine precomp and parent them to the glass layer and now when I move the glass they move with it and well Duik is free but you can also donate whatever you think it's worth for you what I tend to do is I try plugins for free and if I find myself using it frequently I just pay for it I love using Duix Swing because I hate copying and pasting keyframes to infinity and beyond so right click on the glass position and separate dimensions select the X position and hit Swing now we have to simply tell it how many pixels we want the object to oscillate from the axis and how many times per second. I'm giving it 15 pixels and 2 times a second because that's the wave's frequency too. And that's it. We have a little excuse for the wine to spin inside this glass. Thanks a lot for watching. I really really hope you learned something today. And if you think you did, please hit subscribe, hit the bell. Goodbye.